Ship Graveyard Simulator takes the premise of what would it be like to work in a ship graveyard, breaking down scrap as a house flipper ripoff and runs with it. You'll smash, cut, torch, and mop your way to many thousands of dollars as the same few songs play and repeat. It's only 12 bucks, so is it worth checking out if the thought of slicing apart old ships in very specific spots appeals to you? Let's find out in the Xbox era review of Ship Graveyard Simulator. The premise, which is paper thin, is that you live in an oceanside village and can call in progressively larger boats to tear down parts out of. Things start out with you scrounging scrap on the sandy shores, then you'll quickly earn enough to call in your first tiny boat and buy a few tools to attack it with. The setup is immediately familiar for how it plays to anyone who has played House Flipper, especially since it hit Game Pass. You'll get various hammers, cutting tools, torches, and more, which you can upgrade at your workshop. There are multiple buildings that you will work towards creating and upgrading, such as the furnace and the barracks. The former is how you'll craft new parts out of the scrap you collect, and the latter allows you to hire workers who will slowly get you parts over time. To get around this island, you have a pickup truck that stops instantly whenever it touches anything and has the magical ability to simply drive straight through any person. Your home shack houses a computer and a bed. The computer allows you to order in ships, which will arrive at 8 a.m. the next day and have a set cost for however long you keep them around, and the bed lets you sleep if you're waiting on the next ship. These are paired with a very basic leveling system that gives you points you can spend in various trees tied to each tool, as well as some of the overall meta systems for the game. It ends up being a really solid amount of content for a budget title, but it's the best part of what is otherwise a dreary looking, performing, and playing game. The graphics and controls are tied together in Ship Graveyard Simulator. Playing on a Series X, the game has massive, hideous pop-in, especially when driving. The frame rate fluctuates wildly as well, and it never felt good to move or try and aim. This makes it maddening at times to move your cursor around as you try and hit the critical spot on an item with your hammer, or cut the proper part of a mount with your blowtorch. There is also a lock-picking minigame that is straight out of the Elder Scrolls series, but far worse. The only items you seem to get out of these locked boxes and saves are the things that you will find when breaking down the ship pieces, but they're of a higher overall level. This is clearly a budget title, possibly made by a one or two man team, I'm not sure. Because oddly enough, the Xbox store listing doesn't list a developer. Most of the graphics look straight out of an asset store, and the optimization on consoles leaves a lot to be desired. For something that would really look at home on an Xbox 360 or a five year old smartphone, the fact that the frame rate is so rough is a killer. The basic act of smashing specific parts of an old ship should be really satisfying. Far too often your hammer swings will miss despite it looking like they clearly should have hit. Mopping up oil spills feels random on what section will disappear and just overall it never gave me that feeling of zen that other cleaning simulators did. One other bright spot is that I didn't run into any major bugs and the music while repetitive was okay. I don't know if it fits the beach village theme of the game at all, but it was inoffensive. There is no voice acting or dialogue, as there is no story whatsoever. Wrapping things up for 12 bucks, if you desperately are looking for something to play while you listen to a podcast or some music, then I would suggest maybe getting this game on PC and hoping it runs better there. Because it performs terribly on consoles and it feels real bad to play. The overall setup and amount of content is its best point, but in execution, it simply isn't fun. Mm -hmm. 